Welcome back to another video, Max Forte. Today we're starting a new series here on the channel. If it's well accepted, I'll continue the series. It's all about you guys. You let me know in the likes. If you guys like the video and you show it in the comments, I'll come up with other parts of this video. It's five master perfumers and their masterpiece creations. So without any further ado guys, let's hop into them. All right, so ladies first, the gentleman thing to do, we're gonna talk about two fragrances from the house of Anique Coutal. She's an amazing perfumer. Unfortunately, she has passed, she's no longer with us, but she has left us with incredible fragrances to wear and enjoy. The first fragrance I'm talking about now is going to be called Sables, which is a fragrance she created for her husband. And this fragrance is an incredible amber, woody, spicy scent. And I think the main notes here that you should pay attention to is the Immortelle up top, which gives off a hay-like tobacco, almost boozy effect. It's creamy, it's spicy, and the Mysore sandalwood is the best you can get. Simple as that, incredible scent. Now, the one I'm highlighting here the most is my favorite, which is going to be Vetiver, self-titled Vetiver my favorite vetiver of all time. If you're looking to buy one vetiver fragrance to be the end all be all of vetivers, this is the one you should check out or try to find. A 1985 composition. What I love about this is you can probably compare this to Guerlain's vetiver, but this one here is a little bit better because the tobacco that's infused in here just makes it much better. It's more powerful, long lasting, and it just enhances the whole experience. It's a little bit salty because there, there's some sea salt, marine salt qualities to this and the tobacco here just enhances the whole composition. The best vetiver you could possibly imagine. If you're a vetiver fan, guys, this is a must try. The next perfumer we're gonna highlight today is one Roger Bird, AKA Raja Dove, as you may know him. He's been in the fragrance world since 1981. He worked for Guerlain, so he has a tremendous background experience. But in 2013, when he released his own self-titled brand, Raja Dove, all bats were off. This guy, as they say, the rest is history because at that point he disrupted the market, not only with the creations, but the presentations themselves. It just was like niche to the max, no pun intended. The fragrance I'm highlighting today, which I think is, I could possibly talk about creation -y, but he has incredible masterpieces in this fragrance collection. So I mean, there's many to talk about, but the one that I really think really is above and beyond all of them, in my opinion, of course, is going to be Diaghi Lev. This fragrance here is really showing the craftsmanship and how much, you know, mastery Raja has with his creations. This is a modern meets classic to profession. This is a Shepra leather fragrance. And in my honest opinion, if you're looking for a great fragrance to take the place or, or an alternative, a perfect alternative to Mitsuko from Guerlain, which now has been tremendously butchered and, and, and reformulated, this is the one you, go, you want to go for. If you love Sheepras, this is one of those fragrances that when you wear, you know you mean business because of how good this is and people that will smell you will definitely want to know what are you what are you wearing because it's definitely going to make you stand out in the crowd. Diagulav, Raja Parfums. If you haven't heard, you're missing out. The next perfumer, and by the way, all master perfumers on this list are in my favorites of all time. So this one here is definitely in the top five of my favorite perfumers of all time. This one here, of course, Bertrand du Chafour. And Bertrand de Chafour, I'm really enamored with his work with L'Artisan Parfumé. I have probably from all collections I own the most bottles from, it's probably from L'Artisan Parfumé, especially the years that he worked with L'Artisan because he created some incredible fragrances. Timbuktu is one that deserves, you know, a lot of talks. It's a beautiful green aromatic fruity scent. But the one I'm highlighting today is going to be this one right here, which I think is my favorite from him. This is called Zonka. Incense, leather, iris, and papyrus. I mean, the fragrance is just so incredible. This to me is a journey of a fragrance. You know, like many of his creations with L'Artisan, they, they're very poetic, these fragrances. And this juice here is definitely gonna take you in a journey. And I go as far as saying that this is not a fragrance that is masculine or feminine. As you know, fragrances have no gender, of course. But this one here is, of course, a very androgynous fragrance, meaning a guy or a girl could wear beautifully. Some fragrances will be a little bit portrayed more as masculine, perhaps they have a, you know, a darker facet to them, like the oak moss and the vetiver, more woody, and you're going to perceive them as more masculine as opposed to fragrances that have this floral, fruity undertone, and you're going to perceive them as more feminine. This one here, right on the cusp, both can wear, one thing is for sure, a masterpiece. Zonka, Bertrand du Chafard, 2006 release from L'Artisan Parfumé. Now this next master perfumer I'm highlighting right now, I love his work, much like Porton du Chafot with L'Artisan Parfumé. This, this particular perfumer is associated with Serge Loutons because he made some incredible masterpieces with Serge Loutons. The one I'm highlighting right now today for you guys, nine out of 10 perfumers, critics or directors, you know, creative directors from companies that I've spoken with 
or interviewed, nine out of 10, not an easy feat here, have talked about this fragrance as their favorite or a masterpiece, groundbreaking, game-changing fragrance in the world of fragrances. And guys, this fragrance here, you must get your nose on if you're a true fragrance aficionado. And I'm talking about Femi Feminité du Bois. Now, Feminité du Bois, if you translate it from French, and believe me, I'm not a French-speaking person, from what I've heard, it means the femininity of woods. So it's really combining woods that otherwise are perceived as more masculine notes and adding these beautiful fruits and florals to make an enchanting freaking fragrance, guys. This fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, it starts off very fruity. You have plum, you have peach. It's almost boozy, like a fruity liqueur. Other components here that are very predominant are the sandalwood, the musks, the vanilla, and the benzoin. An absolutely incredible fragrance. Definitely one of the best fragrances I've ever put my nose on. And hence the fact it's a masterpiece. And Christopher Show Drake needs no introduction. He is a master at his craft. A little shameless plug here, guys. Scent Explore. If you love fragrances like the ones I'm highlighting today, if you love niche perfumery or the highest and the finest quality of fragrances, check out Scent Explore. Details below. Scent Explore, for those of you hearing it for the first time, is a virtual international fragrance convention happening on December 4th, 2001. 2001, 2021, I hope it was happening since 2001. But anyway, happening December 4th, 2021 from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. all day event. Check out scentexplore.com for further details, schedule, programs, so you know exactly what's going on. Giveaways, international giveaways, you can win a trip. You can win a trip to Oman, to the Amouage factory, as one of the gifts, guys. Check it out, don't miss out. A reminder for you guys, this Friday, October 15th, the deadline for you to get your sample bags. If you want to get your sample bags, this is the time to register. Otherwise, you'll be without one unless you get it through giveaways. That's my quick reminder for you guys. I hope to see you there. It's going to be one for the books. Give me a drum roll. This person, this gentleman that I'm going to talk about is no longer with us, is long gone, but he has left his mark in the world of fragrances, in the world of perfumery. He is mentioned in every book I've ever read about fragrances and 99.9% .9 of perfumers look up to this guy as the true master of his craft and considered by most the personification of modern day perfumery. Roche's Pour Femme, Diorissimo, and Diorella are some of his creations, groundbreaking masterpieces. But the one we're highlighting today, ladies and gentlemen, is my personal favorite. And of course, it's called Eau Sauvage. 1966 creation. This fragrance here is associated with masculinity, with virility. Some of the names that people associate this quintessential gentlemanly fragrance are Steve McQuinn and James Bond. Eau Sauvage is a citrus aromatic fragrance with notes of floral notes like rose, for example, carnation. You have a whole bunch of citruses up top. What makes this really a standout fragrance is from the heart into the dry down, you have musks, vetiver, oak moss, um, amongst other notes. Incredible fragrance is a citrus aromatic with a backbone. If you go with the lighter version, which is what's available in the market today, as you can see, the juice is a little bit lighter than the darker, older formulation, but it's still on smell alone. It's gonna make you stand out. It's gonna make you feel gentlemanly and very well put together. It's a very professional, clean, and very inviting, captivating, you know, timeless type of a scent. Guys, if you wanna try any of these fragrances, masterpiece, discontinued, designers, new release, niche, whatever, check out perfume.com, the partner of this channel, the best place to try fragrances before you buy them. You guys know that niche fragrances and discontinued fragrances are the top of the list when it comes to pricing. They're very expensive and hard to come by. You wanna try them? Perfume.com, use my code MAX15 and enjoy. Guys, let me know in the comments, what fragrances do you guys consider masterpieces that you normally reach out for? What perfumers do you follow works of? And what fragrances do you guys love most about those perfumers? I wanna know what masterpieces you guys wanna see me cover on this, on this channel. If you like this series, of course, if you like the video, show me your support, leave a like, subscribe for more, and of course, turn your notifications on so you guys get these videos straight into your feed. I'm your guy, I keep you informed in all things fragrances. Of course, as always, wear your fragrances well, and keep on spraying. I'll see you guys right back here very soon. Take care.